Hi everyone. Good to be making videos again. I really want to say sorry. I want to say sorry for not making videos for so long. It's been so hot. It's been so hot. I've had so much work to do and I've just been, I don't know, I haven't had the, I don't know what it is, the motivation to make the videos maybe. I've been going out, I've been filming a little bit, I've been making, been starting making a video and then I've said to myself, I'm just not in the mood and I've just stopped, stopped filming. And um, I'm really sorry for that. I know that you get used to me making these videos and then I disappear for a couple of months. I'm really, really sorry. So this video is like basically half a video that I made a couple of months ago. And then the second half of this video is going to start. Well, you'll see. Okay, let's, let's go with it. Here's the sign in action. This is a sign that I bought, if you can remember. So I just have to put it there so no one hits me when I'm pulling out the driveway because even though it's a really quiet road, people burn up and down this road all the time. And if you're pulling out a driveway here with this bush in the way and stuff, you've got no chance at all. Summer is on the way. Today is gonna to be like 26 or 27 or something like that degree. So it should be a nice like start to the summer. I'm going to a plot of land that I purchased about a year ago I'm building a house on so we'll go there I um, need to meet the uh, builders and discuss uh, uh, particularly they've asked me to come there at 10 o'clock this morning anyway I don't know and we'll find out what, what it is that they need to discuss but I, well, I'll show you the the land I'll show you the road to the land to the to the plot because um, well it's quite a long road but I'll take picture I'll take uh, little shots every now and again because um, it really is an amazing drive. You get the feel that you're in some sort of, I don't know, ski resort or something. Don't know if you can see all these flats. Now these are all like brand new, like in the last couple of years, they've all sprung up. Brand new builds, just like towering, towering huge, massive builds of flats. So what I've decided to do, because you guys seem to want to see just general everyday to day life, is I'm gonna start just taking the camera with me everywhere I go, filming day to day life, and then just putting it all together over the course of like a few days or whatever, ever, ever how long it takes to to uh, generate a, a, a blog's worth of content, and then upload it so you can get to see a bit more of day to day life in Vladimir in, and in Russia. We seem to be stuck behind something. I don't know what's going on. I can see that 50 meters ahead it's free flowing traffic, but. So here we are, this is the plot of land I'm building on. One neighbour's already built his house there. Got another one over there and then the final one over there. And then, as you can see behind me, the view is just a forest. You can see they're working on it. It's the foundations they've got down. Well, half of them anyway. Unfortunately, we're going to have to destroy some of these trees here, which is such a shame because they're so nice, aren't they? But they get in the way of building the house. So that's such a shame because they really are beautiful. It's going to be a shame to see these things get torn down. Hopefully we can save some of them. Obviously, some of the conversations I'm not going to film, like speaking with the, the builders or the technical director and stuff, I'm not going to going to film our conversations and stuff but I really uh, I really think it's amazing how some bloggers especially in America they get to film everything and like here that kind of stuff just doesn't get to go on film the, the usual kind of stuff you get to film 
are the times when you either specially approach people to film them or you just kind of hold the camera in your hand and people aren't really aware you're filming. They're the kind of two types of filming you kind of get away with more in Russia. This is my neighbour's house. Pretty cool house has got to be fair. But look at the view over here. Absolutely incredible. Already got our neighbour's already put a bird box up. And look at this for a view, it's just so good, just forest, just forest. Perfect, absolutely perfect. You just feel like, you know, it's only five kilometers from the town, but you're in the middle of just, it really feels like you're in the mountains. And then this is the last house on the street. Привет. Вот это стеклянный бутылочка в холодильник наверху. Это безалкогольный, да? Это безалкогольный, да? Ага, отлично. Ну подумай, Не знаю. Я же не За улом. Не поедем. Check out the cat. In the village shop, check out the cat. And the cool bin. This is the drink I just bought from the village shop. Let's see what it's like. Mango and coconut. Mmm. Alcohol free. It's actually pretty nice. Well, let's see what progress has been made. If I can remember rightly, in the last video, there wasn't anything done or was the foundations done? I can't actually remember. We've already got the first floor up. Check it out. This is the kitchen, this big room here. And I'm so lucky to have all these trees here. They really are amazing. And then the second half of the house. Here we go. High hidden behind the trees. Let's go have a look inside. Here's the kitchen as we said. Second floor's got to go up here, yeah. And here we go. These are downstairs, the toilets and whatnot. Look at this scaffolding. That surely would not pass health and safety in the UK. And look at this view from the kitchen window. Right, well, let's go and have a walk around the village, see if anyone's around, see if there's anyone to speak to, and, um, and show you what my village is like. So these bits, like as we walk between the houses, well, you probably think that they're Russian roads, but they're not. This is the first thing I've ever seen in Vladimir region anyway. In between the houses, you've got like a road for the fire engines to come down if they need to. So we're now on the street that's like one, one row up from mine. And um, it's interesting to see what it all looks like from where I am. Actually, my neighbor's here. He's not usually very talkative, but let's, um, let's see if he wants to chat. Привет. Интересно, как мир выглядит отсюда. Снимай. Дом твой очень быстро построил, да? Быстро, да. Молодец, конечно. So this is a plot that's just been sold. Let's go have a look at it. It's massive. It's way bigger than my plot. Look at that. That's huge, isn't it? And you can see my house is just over there. I love this one here as well. It's really cool that house is. Don't know if you can see here, but there's like a pull-up bar. This guy's obviously doing his sport out there in the garden. And this is one of my friend's houses. I'm not going to say his name because he hates me talking about where he lives. Kaisiva Shapka. Shapka Kaisiva. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know the music like that. 
Да, вот я там живу. Так ее просто снимаю. Вот. Вот. Не там, нет, соседи. Вот я готовый там жить, конечно. It's all kind of a mixture at the moment because some people have moved in, they built the house and moved in, and other people, other people are still building like me. Look at this one, kind of English style maybe. Wow. What the hell? Is it a goat? A goat? There's just a goat randomly tied up here. Hello, Mr. Goat. Hello. In the villages we have houses of all different shapes and sizes. Everyone just buys their own plot of land and decide, depending on their, their dreams, on their budget, well, that's what gets built. And then you have a, a village of all these different styles all over the place. Every, every house, every plot of land is a bit different, but everyone's unique and everyone does their best to make it like home or what their version of home is. Check out this one, very kind of modern looking. My uh, my roof and walls are going to be like that as well. Well, the village won't be a village without the the evil enemy. And well, they're not the enemy, but they are. Well, a hugely growing pig farm. Unfortunately, when I bought the land and when most other people that uh, started building here, because all the plots have virtually gone now and taken and already been built on, when we all moved here. This was just like a little place. Now it's like a huge pig farm. And luckily enough, we can't smell it from where we are. But on this road here, where the pig farm is located, it does smell every now and again. And as you can see, they're still building. So what's it going to be like afterwards? I hope it's going to be okay. And anyone who says this isn't a village, well, look, there's loads of goats here in the field. That surely makes it a village. I think as well I was suffering from a lot of burnout because I put a lot of effort into the channel. I really have. I made, I think it's about 200 videos I've made altogether. And what I realise is, okay, a lot of my first videos were pretty crappy to be fair, but I come to realise that all these millions of people that love to watch Russia and love to learn about Russia, they don't want to see Russia, they want to just see poverty porn because poverty porn is what sells and there's a few new Russian bloggers that speak English and all they do is show how everything is bad they never actually go to anywhere that's nice they have a completely one-sided view of Russia and that's what sells that's what people like that's what people want to see and it just annoys the hell out of me because if I show anything that resembles kind of normality my videos won't get views at one point I was thinking about buying this one it was just a bit out of my budget. Check out this that the neighbours have done here. I'm hoping they're not going to look out the window. I'm going to get caught. Look how cool it is. It's so cool. They've made this little area here. They can have a picnic on. This little rocking chair and stuff. That is really, that is really nice, isn't it? I'm hoping I don't get caught by my neighbours. They could be looking out the window. I'm walking on their garden. But it's really cool. I just wanted to show you how cool it is. Look at this seat thing they've made. How cool is that? That is absolutely amazing. Check out this little, this little bridge. It's like a den for the kids to play in. That is so cool. Now I know a lot of these like newer channels and some of the older channels that are really popular, you know who I'm talking about. One of the best things that people say about them is that the person speaks to the locals. And that is really good, speaking to the locals. But then if you, you know, if you go places and the only place you film are crap, and well, and I say crap, you know what I mean, run down. And um, at the same time, the locals are hand-picked. So you maybe speak to a hundred locals and like five of them will make the final edit and they're going to be the saddest, kind of a bit craziest, you know, kind of like <laughs> just making the video seem wild, yeah? Well, it's not really fair, is it? It's not really a fair, you know, portrayal of Russia. And I just got, I've just got so burned out because my friends started slaughtering me. 
my friends started having a go at me, my Russian friends. They started saying to me, like, my video content is portraying Russia as being really crap. And compared to most people out there, compared to most of the bloggers out there, my video content portrays Russia as actually being really good. So some of my videos, you know, would have amazing click-through through rate, amazing stats, amazing social shares, all the things that YouTube really loves, yet YouTube would not show my video to new people. All of my traffic was coming from Facebook, was coming from uh, people that are already uh, subscribed to the channel. I wasn't getting any, you know, new people looking at my videos. And it was very, 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 very frustrating. So anyway, guys, that was kind of like my rant over. I'm just really suffering from burnout. I will be uploading some new content. I've made loads of half videos over the summer. I've started filming and then thought, oh, my heart's not really in it. But I promised to go on some adventures soon. And I'm really, the problem is when I go on these adventures, it's always a decision I've got to make. Do I film reality and not get any views on YouTube? Or do I just seek out the worst of everything I can find, try and speak to some strange locals and uh, get loads of views, but then be called a sellout by all my Russian mates and feel and know that I'm a sellout too. It's kind of like, a, you know, what do you do? I know that reality is reality no matter what it is, yeah? And people are gonna say, oh, you just wanna show the good stuff and other people show reality. No, everyone shows what they wanna show on YouTube. But it's so difficult for me, uh, as someone who's lived in Russia for like 17 years now, just to show all things that other people will want to see on YouTube because it's like wild, crazy stuff and poverty porn. I want to give a special shout out to Doug. Um, Doug, thank you so much for your prayers. Um, you really helped me a lot.